Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video, I will show you how to test the car alternator using the multimeter. Now it's quite windy outside, so I hope you'll be able to hear me. Now the first thing, I will show you how to test the battery using the multimeter. Uh, so you want to set the multimeter to 20 volts and then you want to connect the negative prop to the negative terminal and the positive prop to the positive terminal. And the value should be between 12.2 and 12.6. Uh, if it's under 12.2 that means that your battery is not uh, fully charged up and potentially it's losing uh, charge. Okay, now to test the alternator, what you have to do, you have to start the vehicle and then these values should rise. They should be around 14 volts, pretty much anything between 13.8 and 14.7 should be acceptable. If it's under that, that means the alternator is not charging the battery enough and uh, it will have to be replaced most slightly, but if it's uh, over 14.7, closer to 15 or over, that means it's overcharging the battery and then that, that can cause lots of potential electrical problems uh, and the battery problems. So the next thing, you want to start the vehicle and uh, see the numbers. Okay, so just start the vehicle and proceed back outside uh, to read the values. Okay, and now my engine is running and you can see it's showing 14.2 uh, which is uh, the golden standard, 14.2 is like just in the middle of what's acceptable and that means my alternator is in good working condition. Now I decided to record this video because uh, this morning this car wouldn't start, the battery was depleted. So I had no idea why it happened, so first I tested the battery and then I tested uh, the alternator. And now I'm pretty sure that I maybe left uh, the lights on or possibly the radio screen was left on overnight and that's what uh, emptied the battery. But anyways, this is how you can test both the battery and the alternator. Thank you for watching this short video, I hope it was helpful and educational, if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.